Good morning, everyone. The Mass intentions for today, for the repose of the souls of Fermina, Simplicio, and Simplicio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We try now to acknowledge our sins and ask pardon for them so that we may celebrate with a clean heart. <coughs> I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Christ have mercy Mercy on us, 
you take away sins of the world receive our prayer the right hand of the mercy on all to God glory to God glory to God in the highest <coughs> people of good will You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Lord. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the high on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, who look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading a reading from the book of Isaiah say to those who are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your God will come with vengeance with the recompense of God he will come and save you Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap like a deer and the tongue of the mute sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the first ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
It is the Lord who preserves fidelity forever, who does justice to those who are oppressed. It is He who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. James. My brethren, show no partiality as you hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man with gold rings and in fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, have a seat here, please, while you say to the poor man, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren. Has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus was preaching the gospel of the kingdom, healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. <clears throat> Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee through the region of the Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf 
and had an impediment in his speech. And they begged him to lay his hand upon him. And taking him aside from the multitude privately, he put his fingers into his ears and spat and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephata, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, and his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And he charged them to tell no one, but the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I, it's very obvious that the immediate connection with us in this gospel story is a reflection on our own deafness and our own muteness with respect to the gospel because we hear it physically and we speak freely, but in the spirit do we really hear the word as addressed personally to each one of us. We have the difficulty that we've heard this before, hundreds of times perhaps. We've read it often. We know that this is a, a messianic healing, that as we heard in the first reading, the sign of the Messiah would be that he would allow the deaf to hear and the, the mute to speak and the blind to see and the lame to walk, that he would work these kinds of miracles. In this case, of course, the rather convoluted geography and travel arrangements from southern Lebanon back to Galilee meant that this man was a pagan, not a Jew. He was a Gentile. And that the Messiah had come for all people, not just for Jews. And so our prayer today would be that we would really hear the gospel in our heart and therefore be able to speak from the heart. It is a feature of deafness at a physical level that people who are, have been deaf from birth, even though they have got all the mechanism for speaking, vocal cords and all the rest of it. Because they never heard, they find it difficult to speak. As you know, we have Father Cyril, who is deaf and blind, uh, uh, but has been deaf from birth. And therefore, although he, he's got the wherewithal to speak, when he does try to speak, it's quite impossible to understand him because he's never heard. And so if we haven't heard in our heart, it's difficult for our heart to speak, to be authentic, to be sincere, to be genuine. And then 
there is the question of what we would say. What word stands out? For example, in this gospel today, is there a single word that hits us, that touches us, that maybe pierces us? And it struck me that um, although Jesus spoke to the man and gave him instructions about not publicizing all this too much, the only words we've got in Mark's account are that Aramaic word, ifata, one word, ifata, which means open, be open. And so we can take that one word to heart, that we are open to hear, and that hearing brings with it the responsibility to echo what we hear. To also say to others, be open to the gospel. Of course, there are other ways of communicating than by speech. And deaf people in particular are very good at being able to communicate in gesture, in sign language, and in all sorts of body language, as opposed to actual sound. <coughs> the tone of voice, the emphasis we make, whether we raise our voice or not, and all these things influence the way we communicate. And we communicate best in what we do rather than in what we say. And so for all these reasons, we pray for this gift of openness, that we wouldn't be worried about having too many words, but rather be concerned that we have the right actions which speak louder than words. Amen. Amen. Let us stand now to profess our faith together, as we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary 
and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, we bring our world before you, our church and our parish community and ourselves, asking that you would hear our prayers made in faith. For our church and parish community, that our work and worship together may reflect the gospel of reconciliation and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ministers of the church and the leaders of nations, that they may proclaim the justice and peace of God without fear or compromise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For professors, scholars, researchers, and teachers, that they may enable society to recognize the hand of God, sustaining life in all of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the homeless, and the abused, that they may find a place of honor and welcome in our homes, parish, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, for those whose lives are in crisis, for the lost and the despairing, that the love of Christ, the healer, be open their lives to healing and wholeness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, that they may be heirs of the promised kingdom of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Open our eyes and ears and hearts to your spirit, O Lord, that everything we do and every moment you give us may speak of your loving presence in our world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
I receive this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in me. Blessed are you, Lord, for of all goodness of you, all goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and to be pleased with us. Humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of the Church. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of this sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. <coughs> For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Empowered by the Spirit, taught by Jesus, we are able to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you.
invisíveis. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and I drink your blood. Let it not be me, God, but health, mind and body, faith. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Um. The blood of Christ. Um. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit a share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan, and all the others who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.